All right, we got a Bitcoin update coming right after this. But first, let's talk about Coco Coin because this thing is poised. It is ready. And there are a few reasons for this we're going to talk about in this video. OK, so we can see, obviously, we have this massive airdrop dump. This is natural for most coins. Uh, and what you want to see after that for an initial a success of a coin like this uh, is a pretty swift but healthy recovery. And we can see here that has happened pretty nicely, very progressively. Uh, and uh, yeah, and as this momentum wears off, what we're doing here is consolidating and just waiting to see if we can break over that next level if we can break over that next level which we are trying to do right now as you can see right uh, then it's a fantastic sign for this coin and it's definitely something that I can see going a lot higher okay I do hold this coin full disclaimer and what I will say is that we did get in around here so we're already up a pretty substantial amount but have I sold absolutely not okay what I'm doing here is actually uh, looking for more like a 4x here looking for something uh, uh, up up here in this kind of area uh, just after this pump because obviously right now as you can see uh, it is something that is correlated and is coupled with the rest of the market in terms of price action right and we are seeing as bitcoin tries up we are seeing coco coin try up as well and that is a great sign for any new coin on the block this coin specifically guys uh, it is actually at 46 million market cap and as you can see here with the market cap, it is going up pretty progressively and pretty nicely. There's a few reasons why this is happening. Uh, obviously, they have the money to market. They did raise a lot of money, right? They raised 24 million uh, in their pre-sales. So uh, yeah, this is something that is going to help them fund their project. It's going to help them pump their project. But it's also going to help them actually uh, market and get some B2B partnerships. What that means is is business to business deals in which you can promote your company or project or whatever, right, uh, to actually have mutual gain between two projects. They've already done this a little bit with the peace token, but uh, what we will say is they are actually uh, sponsoring and attending the Binance Blockchain Week. What does this mean? Well, you can see these numbers flashing across your screen right now, okay, and just, just to name a few of them, right, so uh, 1.6 million views on Binance Live where they stream the event, Okay, a uh, tier one media uh, attendees, 30. Okay, article reach. So there will be articles on all of these projects, including this one, right, with a reach of 4.3 billion, which is massive. Okay, literally half the planet could see this, <laughs> right? Reach on social media, 2.2 uh, billion influential speakers, uh, 120. So if these guys do go up on stage and speak, uh, they are going to get all of that kind of impressions. And uh, obviously, as I said, the main point here being the B2B stuff, right? The partnership stuff. Any exchange likes them, uh, any potential big partner wants to implement them as a payment method or anything like this, then uh, yeah, it's going to come from an event like this. And this is why it's so important for new projects like this to attend these events. And these guys are just on the right path, I would say. Okay, 46 million market cap, as we said, they are chilling out here. Okay. And uh, yeah, attending this is going to be massive. So look out for this. This is obviously this is obviously uh, on uh, on October 30th, okay? So a few days from now, a couple days from now, guys. Uh, and we will say that, um, yeah, we're expecting big things here. We're expecting big things because uh, this is not a small event. This is actually a more of a VIP event. You can see it's 600 bucks to get in. If you did want to go, go ahead. I would definitely recommend it. I've been to lots of events like this. I'm obviously not in Dubai right now, so I'm not going to be going to this. But uh, what I will say is I have been to a few of these events in Bangkok and Hong Kong, and uh, they are amazing, particularly for networking and partnerships, right? Right? If you have a coin, definitely uh, go to some events like this because this is how you get to that next point. This is how you get that next inflow of money, that influx of money into your coin. So these guys doing this is fantastic. And it's something that uh, I would definitely recommend doing if you are uh, out there uh, trying to promote a project. But uh, yeah, the fact that they're doing it is just a reason to buy this project in itself. Let's take a look at their socials because we haven't actually checked on their socials in a while here, guys. But we can see here uh, chilling around 109k followers. That is good. Okay, obviously they won that Binance uh, liquidity contest, right? So Binance actually gave them $50,000 added to their liquidity, which uh, when you do see a chain actually uh, help and support a coin on their chain, it's very beneficial for the coin. It's very good in terms of criteria for that coin. It means the coin is less likely to be scammy, all of this stuff, right? Uh, because Binance are obviously going to vet these coins uh, down, to, uh, down to the wire, right? So what we will say is that's also a fantastic point. But what I did want to uh, highlight here, obviously, we've highlighted the socials are doing good. We've highlighted the uh, 
We've highlighted the blockchain week, which is going to be massive, okay, particularly for this coin. And this is actually one of the reasons why I believe this is going up right now, okay, because uh, these, these guys get together and they talk and they mingle and they all talk about the projects that they're attending. And then they all go away and secretly buy the projects, right? So uh, we will see here that, uh, yeah, the, the main point here is they are still continuing with fantastic art here. You can see uh, they are sprinkling in all the Bin Binance stuff into their art. I really do like this. You got, I think it's a CZ sat over there. Could be wrong. <laughs> but uh, the point being is, yeah, the art is fantastic. They are continuing to put out really nice content here. You can see landing in uh, arrive at your destination here. Obviously, that's Dubai. So uh, they're kind of hinting about the blockchain week. And that's something that you want to see here. In terms of engagement, let's just look at this post alone here, guys. Uh, we can actually see, just check my mic synced. Hello. Yeah, cool. Uh, we can actually see here that, uh, yeah, 21,000 impressions, which is huge. Okay, 191 likes, 23 retweets, and 44 comments. So, yes, uh, definitely something that uh, that is out there. Okay, in terms of a Binance coin, right, uh, this is this is insane in terms of uh, success so far for a Binance uh, chain coin. So, uh, good stuff there. If we are looking at just about where their distribution is, where their people are, uh, and uh, the people that basically hold their coin, you can actually see that it is spread pretty much worldwide, okay? Mostly over Asia, Russia, okay? We've got some in Australia as well down there, uh, and uh, yeah, over in Canada as well, so in the West Coast as well. So, yeah, pretty much all over the world. What you don't want to see with a coin like this is to have it all in one place, right? If you're having that geolocation all in one place for transactions. It can be something that is a negative. It would show that it's a centralized project, but this actually clearly shows that it's decentralized and that's something that is a positive for me. So where are we right now? We're looking at 46 million market cap. Okay, it does look like it's it's poised to go up. Okay, it looks like it wants to bang it to that next level. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, uh, token distribution. Obviously, they distributed 80% in an airdrop. Okay, initial liquidity 10%, pretty decent. And marketing 9% there coming through. So what we will say is, uh, yeah, pretty much checkboxes across the board. This is uh, this is me explaining why I'm in this coin, really. Okay, but I do think it has a long way to go. And as I said, my targets here for you guys uh, is uh, essentially a 4X from here, okay? Essentially a 4X. We're, we're looking really, if we look from where we bought, okay, we're looking like up here, somewhere around here. Obviously, this is, uh, yeah, 4X would be something like this, right? Uh, and this is absolutely achievable, okay? Definitely achievable. When you look at where it's come from, okay, the next wave up potentially uh, could be there very, very easily, right? So uh, that's what I'm looking for. When you think about price discovery, I'm not just expecting a massive green candle of up, of course, guys, but uh, over time, just the way this thing's behaving, the way it's coupled, the way it's clearly got market makers behind it, which means if the market goes up, this coin will go up as well, okay? Then uh, yes, it becomes a bit of a snowball where people catch on to it going up and they say, oh, okay, uh, this thing might do well. And then it starts to catch up the rest of the market and it starts to do bigger gains than the rest of the market right uh, and this is just the benefits of getting in coins around these kind of market caps right you don't want to be getting into coins when they're like one mil or four mil market cap i know there's this these kind of lottery mindset where you get in these early coins but it's definitely not uh, what you want to be doing here the best success for coins the best roi okay is to really target between i would say uh, 25 mil to 50 mil as as kind of your base area to get into a coin like this and then having all that criteria hit any kind of partnership with the chain that they're on is massive okay so if it was a solana coin solana foundation are backing them yes that would make sense and we've got a video coming out today about uh one of the ai coins that we we uh, talked about a few weeks ago just an update on that but um yeah in this case, it is a Binance chain coin and it was backed by Binance, okay? And they're attending a Binance event. So you can imagine there'll be potential partners there that do support the chain and that's just gonna help this thrive, right? And this is really what I'm getting at here. This is just a good pick for me, okay? And it's not too late to get in if you do wanna get in, guys. Uh, but I should be uh, should be neutral here more than anything. Obviously, I'm in a little bit biased because I'm in the coin, <laughs> right? But uh, there are areas in which I would get out if I need to, okay? And that area would be based Basically, if we lose this zone here, so uh, one, 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 this kind of zone here, I will be looking to potentially exit. But uh, yeah, it wouldn't be that much of a loss, like a 5% loss. No problem here. Uh, overall, I think it's pretty progressive. It's going up pretty nicely. And I don't see, unless we get a swan event in the entire crypto market, right? I don't see it actually getting down there. I think it's probably just a continue trickle up here uh, as we do get to that blockchain week.
interesting level over the next couple of days. And if we don't, not a problem. I am just expecting probably some consolidation here before eventually breaking out. Uh, and actually, the more we consolidate here, the better, because it means that it's healthier. If we do pump up like we did uh, around this area, okay, if we do pump up, if we, if we go down to the four hour, you can see this a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, so if we do get these big pump ups like so, we can also get massive downwards reactions with that. So we have to be careful uh, when we are trading uh, and, and looking for areas like that because it can be very uh, it can be very tempting to get in uh, like after massive pumps like this but it's actually better to wait for the pullback wait for some consolidation and after that consolidation then uh, it would have been coiled up as much as possible and then it can explode right so after that consolidation that's when we can get the breakout obviously not after a major pump that's double digit percentages <laughs> right uh, that's common sense for me but if you didn't know that then uh, yeah now you know uh, what we will say as well is it's looking fantastic right now uh, in terms of how it's progressing today okay so we've actually gone we've done some pretty decent percentage today actually Actually, uh, it's done, uh, yeah, nearly 2% today, well, 2% today uh, at least. So uh, that's good. That is very, very good. Let's see if this can continue. Uh, as we said yesterday, guys, uh, we were looking uh, to actually close yesterday over this trend line. That did not happen, but it's looking okay right now. If we can close basically where we are right now, guys, it's an extremely bullish sign because we would have got over this trend line uh, that doesn't look too prominent here, but it is prominent on the four hour that we are trying to break over right now. Okay, so that is pretty much Coco Coin. Definitely check it out in the description. And um, yeah, I'll see you in a minute for another video. And we're also going to do a Bitcoin update today as well for you guys. So two more videos coming today. But I did just want to update you guys on this one. So uh, have a fantastic day. Drop a like on there. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.